All right, a lot of people email or provide YouTube comments and say, Randy, when you're out in your shop, and we see all these skulls, these Euro mounts hanging there. How do you hang them up there? So I can't say there's any science to this. Everybody knows I profess to not be handy, so it can't require a lot of skill for my method to work. Uh, actually, the guy who came up with the idea is a contractor friend of mine, Corey Benj, and he's a hunter. And he's like, Randy, when I put these shelves in your shop, let's do this. So here's what it takes. It's really simple. Need a drill. Need some drill bits. You need some self-tapping screws. You need some decking screws. You need your Gerber center drive with a plier because you're going to hang them with tie wire. You need all that. You need a couple two by fours along your, your braces and a step ladder. And it's that simple. So I'm going to show you how we tap the, the screws in to mount to the skulls and then with the wire. And then I'll show you how we drill the, the decking screw in the top of the two by four. And that's where the wire hangs on that. And that's about as complicated as it gets. But this is just fun. That's what I do every spring. I come out here and whatever we've accumulated as Euro mounts over the year, I gotta find a place to put them. So follow along. For this part, what you see is there's this long two by four that runs from upright to upright. And what I do is I take these decking screws right here, take your handy little electric drill. You put that in there. And you screw that thing down in there. And there you go. You leave about that much sticking out and you're set to go. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start, I'm going to drill holes in the skull here so that it's a starter. So the moose got those holes in there. Deer are pretty easy. Uh oh. Just broke my elk's nose there. Someone's calling me. So, we did those starter holes. Usually I use an eighth inch. Hopefully that's big enough. Those of you who are handy are watching this saying, no wonder Newberg's wife doesn't let him have power tools and such. She has no idea what I have over in this shop. I don't want her to know. So, here you go, 5 16 Self-tapping screw. Oh, went too far. There you go. What what you do is you you back that out a ways because I'm gonna wrap the wire around the, the shaft of the screw and then the head keeps the wire from slipping off. So
All you younger people will never get the humor if I say this, but you older people will. Now for the tricky part, which if you were a kid growing up in the 70s, you remember the old Fig Newton commercial. Now for the tricky part. And there we go. So now what I have to do is uh, get wire wrapped around these and I'll show you how I do it. And the deer is the easy one. Maybe we'll do that one first. I've already tapped the, the screws in the top of these two by fours you see out here. And we'll go from there. <laughs> The deer don't take very much wire. So what you do, you just, you see how that wraps around the shaft of the screw there? It just doesn't take much to keep it in place. Actually, I might give myself even more. So you just wrap it around the shaft of that self-tapping screw and it's not going anywhere but I just try to pull it as tight as I can just to make sure it's not going anywhere and then it comes through there and back here and so if my finger is the nail that's kind of how it's going to hang there and then once you get up in there, you can uh, adjust it however you need by twisting it. I always do a loop like that. And once you get up there, you can either, that screw is, that sheetrock or decking screw is going to be either there or here. And just by twisting it, you can determine how much slack you're pulling up in that. So. Deer is ready to hang. I hope I uh, get a lot of experience at hanging these moose up here. That means I've drawn a lot of tags. But so far, in 20 whatever years, 27, I've never drawn a moose tag in Montana. I don't know if you can see this. Check this out, folks. Somebody got excited when they saw this bowl before Matthew did. Someone shot a hole through this antler. See that wire going through it? Oh wow, well, I'd get excited too if I see one. I just hoped that I wouldn't shoot a hole in the antler. I wonder what the world did before these multiplier kind of devices came into existence. This center drive from Gerber, you can see it's full of goo and gunk. It's my uh, gutting and gilling tool for ducks and geese and grouse. Man, it's slick. But I'm thinking I need to come up with a, a way to market a, a gutting and gilling tool for birds. Maybe Gerber will work with me on that. As you can see, this is serious scientific work here, folks. Back before I got married, I used to take some sayings from a guy I worked with, and he would always say, good enough for the girls I go out with, and he'd say it plural. Well, once I got married, I kind of picked up Joe's way of saying things. And after about, oh, I don't know, three times of saying that, I realized that when you're married, you don't say girls. You say good enough for the girl I go out with. Right, Kim? 
just a little bit of marital advice, no charge for that. This last side, and we're gonna be set. There we go. So I'll, uh, since I already have my stepladder up over there, that's where I was thinking of putting this moose. We'll do him first. All right. Anyone want to put money on whether or not I break my neck here? Uh, impale myself on this Nevada meal deer here. Who get even with me? I know this is a real scientific way to adjust it, but it actually works pretty good. Somebody's gonna watch this video and tell me how stupid I am to do it this way. And I'm not gonna argue with them because I'm not the smartest guy in the room. Ha! Huh. It'll work. I mean, after all, I'm an accountant, right? I'm not a contractor. No employees are allowed to do this. If I'm going to kill somebody, it's going to be me, not an employee. Huh. Would you look at that? One good thing about deer skulls is they're not very heavy. So they fit in there just perfect. Like I said, 101 uses for an Orion cooler. We need a disclaimer on the screen that says professional cooler climber on a closed course. Do not try this at home. Not how I like it, but <sighs> dang it, I shouldn't have broke that off. There you have it, folks. Not very big, not very good, not very fast, but that's how an accountant does it. Thanks for watching. <laughs>